Hi my friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be the you which was voted as Becky Stad and the dish I'm making is chicken plov. So the ingredients you need is two cups of rice. Now the rice specified was basmati rice. I'm using brown rice. Um, chicken thighs bone in. Again, you can use chicken breast as long as it's got the bone in. I have another ha uh, half of um, chicken that I had, like the one I used yesterday's recipe. Um, so I'm going to just use that. You want uh, one onion, well, two onions diced. I'm using one. Obviously, I'm doing this as a one person. The recipe is for, I say, four. You want three carrots julienne, as again, I'm cutting down, which is one carrot. Four bay leaves, again, I'll be using two. It's just in case you wonder why I'm using the amount I am. Go back to this part of the video and I'm giving you the amounts for the full recipe for a family of four. So obviously I'm using one cup of rice instead of two, one onion diced instead of two, one carrot instead of three, two bay leaves instead of four, and so on. But the seasonings stay the same for my recipe and for the full recipe. So you'll need one teaspoon of chili flakes. Now I put this in one bowl because you're going to use the whole lot in one so rather than put it in different bowls or whatever so as I said you need one teaspoon of chili flakes one teaspoon of cumin one teaspoon of turmeric one tablespoon of salt um, one tablespoon of barberries now I'd never heard of barberries before I didn't even think I could get them to be honest and I did manage to get them. Now these specific ones were a euro and 99 cents. Now I did get them from a specialist um, fruit and vegetable stall that was in the English market. Um, it is 140 grams, it's vegan friendly. So um, the rest of these will be going to my daughters, Sabrina and Stephanie because um, all I need was a tablespoon and I'm hardly likely going to find another recipe with burberries. Um, you'll also need three garlic cloves, two cups of water for the two cups of rice. Obviously I'm using one cup. And you also need one teaspoon of black pepper. So the first thing you're going to do is rinse your rice. And then I will show you the following steps. So the, the first thing you want to do after you've soaked your, um, well, rinsed your rice, is you want to saute your onions. Now as with all these recipes, I've never tried them. And I did do a poll not long back asking if people wanted a second season and I was totally delighted people said yes. So that will be happening I think next week. I will let you know when I've done the um, four recipes for this week. So yeah, so we're just going to saute, saute these off. Now it did specify that you wanted bone in. So what I did is I cut the wing off and I just took the skin off the top now it doesn't say it to do any of that, but that's just the way I'm doing it.
as I said before, you can use the, the other bits for chicken wings and your own spices and the bones and the carcass that you have left if you're using a full chicken would be used to make a chicken stock. So they're getting nice, we just want them kind of translucent. Like so. And the next thing you're going to be putting in there will be your chicken and you're going to fry on high heat for around about three minutes. So here's my chicken and there you can see the bone's still on. So you're just going to fry that in there. You want it brown on all sides. Obviously it's not going to be fully cooked but you do want it brown on the outside. So I'm just going to give that a few minutes and then I'll turn it over. You just want to make sure it's brown on all sides. Now as I said you could, if you're doing it for a larger family, do it in a bigger pot and use a full chicken. So we're not looking for this to be fully cooked, we just want it kind of sealed. I'll just give it another flip over. Like so, as I said, this will be fully cooked when it's finished. So the next thing you're going to be putting in is your carrots. And you're just going to let them cook on high again with the chicken. I'm going to cook them for roughly two to three minutes. So I'm going to let them fry a little bit. So we're almost at this, just start off with is um, really nice. Now I'm going to turn this over because I don't want it to cook from one side and not on the other. You're basically going to be layering And you're going to get extra flavour from the bones anyway. So you are going to have to be careful when you eat this one. So the chicken should just pull away from the bones anyway. So the next thing you're going to do is add your spice mixing. Let that infuse. Mm 
we'll try and cover some over the chicken. Turn the chicken over. And then over again. And then we're going to add two cups of water. So there's one cup. And there's your second cup. And you're going to add your bay leaves. So I'm just going to give this quick stir. we're going to let that come to a boil and then we'll cover and simmer on low for about 10 minutes now as you can see the water is coming to a boil so I'm going to let that just come a little bit more as we can see now and I'm going to cover it and turn the heat down and I will simmer this for 10 minutes so this has been simmering for 10 minutes now the next thing you want to do is add your rice, you're just going to layer that over the top. Just so that it sits gently around like that. Now I did add two cups of rice in the end because there was two cups of water. And then the next thing you want to do is just get your garlic cloves and just stick them in to your rice like that. If you're not going to mix it, you're going to leave it like that. And you're going to simmer that for 15 minutes with the lid on. Now you can see that it's cooked, so I'm going to shred the chicken, get mixed in with the rice, put it in my dish, and I'll bring you back for the taste test. And there is your final dish. And that's Uzbekistan's chicken pilaf. A chicken was so easy to pull apart, it just fell apart from the bone. So, let's give this a taste test. So as I said, let's give this a taste test. Now the chicken is so tender, as I said, it just fell apart. I'm looking forward to this. It smells absolutely delicious. Oh, there's a lot of flavour going on now. Oh, and there's a nice bit of heat. If you don't like spice, I'd put less spice in. Because this does have some nice heat. Mmm. That is really flavorful. Mm. And that cooked garlic really does take on the, the spices, 
and the flavorings of all of everything else. The rice is cooked perfectly. You can see all the different grains. Mm. That is definitely a nice one. Nice heat to my tongue. Not overly spicy. But definitely a nice one. So that's all for this one. I'm going to enjoy that for my dinner. If you like the content, please give it a like. Please consider subscribing. Click the notification bell for new uploads. Uh, leave a comment in the comment box. And the next recipe that you will be seeing will be the Vietnamese dish, which will be out on Wednesday. And that's going to be a foga. I think I said that right. But until then, thanks for watching foodies. Have a great day. Have fun. Goodbye.